everybody and welcome to today's video. I am joined by Scout and we are going to be going over our one year postpartum mom and baby update. My last baby is about to turn one and I am not okay. I am not physically well. <laughs> yes, you. We have a lot to talk about, a lot of updating to do, so let's jump right into it. First, before we start chatting about how I've been feeling postpartum and how Scout is doing, I want to thank today's sponsor, which of course is Ritual. As you know, I've been using Ritual's vitamins for years. I have used them while TTC. I also love their postpartum vitamin as well. This month, they've asked me to be a part of their campaign to bring more transparency to the journey many women face trying to conceive. Seven or so years ago, my first experience TTC, I had no idea what to expect and I feel like while we've come a long way since then in being more transparent about what you'll experience during that time I'm grateful for companies like Ritual who are paving the way for more transparency more communication and more understanding about the topic. I love that Ritual is creating more transparency around the marathon that is conception, just like the transparency they've created with their prenatal multivitamin. If you didn't know, Essential Prenatal is the first prenatal vitamin that is made traceable. So you know what you're putting in your body because not all ingredients are created equal. It gives me confidence that I'm taking a clean, high quality prenatal during this time in my life. And if you like to do your own research like I do, I'll add a link to their website where you can see the form suppliers and final place of their manufacturing of their key nutrients. It's Ritual's level of transparency as to one of the many reasons why I choose Ritual's prenatal and postnatal vitamins and I love that they're bringing more transparency to this vulnerable time of life. If you are trying, thinking of trying, or already pregnant, I cannot recommend their prenatal enough. Essential prenatal helps build key nutrient levels needed to support a healthy pregnancy. Ritual also offers other multivitamins by life stage, and you can use my code FITZGERALD20 to get 20% off of your first order. I honestly cannot believe that I'm sitting here right now about to film this video. I remember filming my first one with Cooper. And being so sad that my first baby, yes, my first baby was one year old. I didn't have a baby anymore. And then I very, very quickly found out that I was pregnant with your sister. <laughs> well, since that you're just sitting here preoccupied by that baby toy, I figured I would start talking about how I've been feeling postpartum. So let's talk about first our breastfeeding journey. It is slowly coming to an end. I went into this postpartum experience deciding that I was not going to put any pressure on myself to continue breastfeeding. And I had a goal set in mind of six months, but after that I was like, whatever happens, happens. We are still breastfeeding. I am pretty certain we're going to make it to his first birthday, which is right around the corner. Heading into months like eight, nine, and 10, we really did start to go through the milk stash that I had put away in the beginning uh, of his life. And I also had some cans of Bobby formula sitting around that I had from Sawyer. And so I started to also give him a little bit of that as well, just to sort of use it. Um, I also gave some away to uh, a mom in need along with some breast milk. And then I also gave it uh, two cans to my friend who actually just adopted a baby. And so I didn't go through all of the formula that I did have, but I, he did probably end up having like maybe like two or three cans, I would say over like the last couple of months. Now, as he's turning one, he does eat a lot of table food. So I don't actually think we're going to be switching him to cow's milk. Maybe, maybe not. I think what we're going to end up doing is likely just put an emphasis on table food um, and then allow him to just nurse for comfort uh, and just let him wean naturally. But to tell you the truth, this boob is not even really making breast milk anymore. Like he really always wants to latch on this side. And so I don't even know if he's like really, he, he's drinking, I'm hearing him swallow. So he is getting something, but it's not enough to really like be a significant like nutritional source. So we have been giving him, we're almost out of the breast milk and I do have a little bit of formula left over, like a little bit in a can. So we really are coming up to those like last few days. And I think I'm just going to switch him on over to focusing a lot more on table food. As far as how I'm feeling postpartum, 
I was having a really difficult time losing the weight that I had gained, but recently, uh, since like January, now we're in the end of June, I had lost a bunch of weight, was feeling really amazing. Recently, I've sort of stepped back into sort of eating a lot more refined sugar and seed oils and whatnot, and I'm definitely feeling it. I feel like puffy and uncomfortable and I think it's really time for me to start focusing again on exercising and feeling better but I would say that I'm down to about I was like 145 now I'm probably around 150 and I think it's since I'm not going to be pregnant again and just gain weight back I think it's really time for me to lose that extra 20 pounds that I've been kind of holding on to so we do have a lot going on right now, but I do think I'm gonna start putting some emphasis on like lifting some weights again and starting to like go for more walks and whatnot. Speaking of walking, this one right here is full on walking and he has been for a while now. It, I thought that he was gonna be walking by nine months old. However, he did sort of take his time just kind of like standing in the middle of the room. Like he would just like stand up on his own in the middle of the room, but never take steps. But now all he wants to do is walk around. He will, you'll see him just like mosey around the house. It's very cute. Um, and yeah, he's really just been the easiest baby. He has recently been waking up at like 4.30 in the morning. He now switched to 5.30 in the morning, thank you. It's still not that great, <laughs> but it's better than 4.30 in the morning. And, um, He's been sleeping through the night, I would say, probably since like seven, eight months old. He is in like the 50th percentile every time we've brought him to the doctor. Um, he, for both his like height and weight, he's our petite little baby. And he is in size four diapers, which typically my kids are usually in size six by now. But yeah, he's just like our little guy. He still has his like brownish, reddish colored hair. He has not turned blonde like all my other children. And his eyes are crystal blue. They are so beautiful. He's hilarious. He is the funniest baby. Uh, Dan calls him R2D2 because he's always just like bloop, 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 making like, yeah, you, making all of these like funny noises. Hear this out, the latest of my babies to get teeth. However, he now has six teeth. They came in late, but now he has six. What's wrong? Did you get mad at the toy? What's happening? What are you mad about? He's super sweet, loves maple to puppy, always giggling and laughing. He's walking like a champ. Let's see if he'll do it. Nope. He's playing, we're playing with this toy. Here, but do you see this hair color? Like he still has like the red brown hair. It's so cute. For me, hormonal wise, I feel like I'm doing really well at sort of leveling out. I'm sure that's all gonna go away when he does officially wean. I almost feel after doing this four times that the hormonal shift after weaning is almost worse than the hormonal <laughs> shift postpartum. Um, which sticks because like you finally start to feel good you have like a consistency and then all of a sudden your baby starts stops breastfeeding and you all of a sudden feel like you're like newly postpartum again not feeling well what are you doing are you being silly are you being silly yeah yeah this no it's mama's hey <laughs> say hello say hi hello so cute you're so cute can you say you go we have party tricks Uh, 
You know it. You know you're so cute. What? What are you doing? It feels exciting, but also very weird and strange to like not be gearing up to have another baby because realistically, I would be TTC like already. Like I'm just, I just don't want to have more kids. As much as like I would embrace them with open arms and be excited and just like if that's what ended up being in the cards for us and that's what's on the cards for us but i just have like no interest in like actively trying to conceive for a fifth child um it was very difficult having four kids not because of the four but because the two older ones had reached grade school level and I sort of feel like doing all of the car drop-offs and pickups and all the schedules and whatnot was very difficult having a newborn slash infant and a toddler. You sometimes just like sit and watch your babies play. He loves this playroom. It's so cute. Like when you have a playroom for like your other children and then all of a sudden like your little baby acknowledges the fact that there's all these toys. <laughs> like he's playing with a little horsey thing right now. Do you want to pull that out? Here, you want to take it out? Look, look, there's horsies. See the horsies? it for this video my last postpartum and baby update ever it feels like a good closing of a chapter I feel like I've done my duty here on YouTube <laughs> over the years I have taught all the things that I can teach I have recommended all of the things I can recommend, I have encouraged. And now I enter the next phase of my life where it's just not so dang hard. <laughs> and I get to redate my spouse and I get to watch my children reach new milestones that I've never experienced before as a mom. Time flies, guys. Days are long, but the years are short. So hold on to it. Well, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.